My name is Claire Watson and I am the director of The Glass Menagerie that's presenting right here in His Majesty's in Perth. My name is Joel Jackson. I'm playing Tom Wingfield in Tennessee Williams' The Glass Menagerie and we're here checking out well, my first time in the beautiful His Majesty's Theatre, which is rather awe-inspiring. Hello, I'm Mandy McElhenney and I'm playing Amanda Wingfield, the mother, single mother, in Tennessee Williams' wonderful, wonderful play, The Glass Menagerie. One of the things that I am particularly fascinated about with Glass Menagerie and we're interrogating together as a team is the character of Amanda Wingfield. She's so often maligned and we, we get this kind of like dragon figure of a, of a character on stage. And we're definitely looking at her in her full vitality. She's hilarious, she's smart, she's sexy. Every choice that she's making is for the benefit of her children. One of my first introductions to theatre was actually this play. It's one of the things that I read that made me realise how extraordinary theatre can be. She's an extraordinary character, she's an extraordinary woman, and it's really interesting to rediscover this role at this age. I discovered that she's actually an incredibly selfless, single mother hero. And I just think she's a wonderful life force and I'm really enjoying getting to know her better. What's more exciting about playing Tom inside of our version of The Glass Menagerie is the music. So Tom O'Halloran is absolutely incredible. There hasn't been a moment up on that rehearsal room floor where it hasn't felt like it's a collaboration between music and poetry. To have that in a, in a place that's associated, say, with opera, with operettas, with that grandeur, to then have text lifted into the air and, and given to you like stars or like something other than just words in an actor's mouth is magical. I believe everyone will see something they recognise in it. Families are, you know, where we all come from and they create who we are. They can prevent us from being who we want to be. And I believe that Tennessee has presented the complexity of a family in a very empathetic way. I think people should come and see the show because it's good. I, <laughs> I'm saying that in, in, in a really lovely way of like, we don't often get a chance to see uh, classics that, that are interpreted faithfully by actors who are every day falling deeper in love with their characters and are serving the story in a way that elevates it to something new. People have to come and see this show because it is one of the best plays ever written and the cast is off the charts talented.